Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a live simply because I haven't had time to actually record anything and so I thought best get it done um, straight away. Okay, so unscripted, unedited, but I just really wanted to share with you this finished so different everyday chic dress and also to share about an event that I'm super excited about. It's uh, Frocktails 2019, which is the second Frocktails that Laura Casey of So Different Patterns is hosting over here. Um, in West Yorkshire. I shall put the links in the description box at some point uh, later on so that you can go and grab yourself a ticket. I believe that there's only a handful of tickets left and that is on Saturday the 7th of November. So I am excited. I've made my dress. I made a really cute red carpet dress and I cannot, oh, I cannot wait to show you that dress which I made like with this awesome sequins fabric. Um, there's also going to be um, a best dressed contest and that's basically anybody who wants to enter and show off their sewing skills. There's going to be three judges, myself and Stitchless TV and Janet Poole from the Great, Great British Sewing Bee for those of you who are big fans. She's going to be there as well and I met her before at the Stitch and Social and she is just lovely and wonderful. And there's also going to be Debbie Show, who's like really big in um, the sewing community on YouTube as well. So definitely do check those out and I'll put all of the links in the description box down below so I'm super excited about that I'm really looking forward to we're trying to make sure that everything is in place but I also wanted to show you this dress that I am loving and I know when I did the fabric haul I was really worried about whether I'd be able to wear this dress but turns out I can actually wear it in winter because I've layered it over this roll neck top, which is Burden 9 2010. And I've got about five of these, but I've used the blue wool jersey one. But if I'm just going to show you Ta -da! what it looks like. Look at that. So it's got like this really deep pocket here. And I have the shearing. There's two bits of shearing on the front there, and then you've got some shearing on the back, and that gives it more shaping if you want to, but I was so tempted to leave the shearing out and just have it as an oversized sort of dress because it looked just as good anyway, but I decided to just finish it off, and I've got this really lovely dress. So this is literally what I've been wearing today. Um, I have to pick up the kids in about half an hour, which is why I'm doing this video now because it, the rest of my day is stacked. But this is what I've been wearing. I've been wearing it layered like that and with some leggings and winter boots. <laughs> now, obviously, because I'm recording live, I can't actually do that thing that I usually do where I take it off and turn it inside out. But here is one I made earlier so I can show you what it looks like on the inside. So it's got the facing, obviously. So the difference is with this one, I didn't do the slash neckline, which I did here. And this is just simply doing a line down just like that, okay? And it's got the raglan sleeves. And then you have here, that's the shearing at the back. And you also have the shearing at the front. And so this is, it is such a simple, simple dress to make. Oh, hi, Carla. <laughs> Thank you. I do like the 70s. The 70s is my favorite era. But yeah, so this is literally the exact same dress, but it's got a slash neckline. So this is more wintry. And I normally wear this one with a black roll neck. Um, but yeah, so this is what this looks like on the inside. And I can't tell you how much I love, love this dress. Yeah, <laughs> I really, really do. And um, I am loving this so much. I just found some uh, tartan uh, fabric in my fabric collection when I was tidying up. And it's like um, a burgundy and sort of like a, a light brown i saw it and i was just like boom that has to be another everyday chic dress so i'm gonna make that i'm hoping that i'll have time to make that 
um, in between showing you the other stuff, I have made a ton of stuff that I'm so excited to share with you, but things have just been so incredibly hectic for me, preparing for frock tails, and we've had some car problems and having to do a lot of stuff. So basically, I've been doing a lot of DIY stuff around the house as well. But yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully this weekend, my kids are on half term, I'm going to be able to, um, to do that. Oh, and also, I filmed a tutorial actually of how I made this dress. I'm hoping to edit that this weekend and I'll be able to share it. But I just wanted to check in because, you know, time has been so sparse for me. Um, and I miss, I miss doing YouTube channel, YouTube videos because I love doing that so much. And I just wanted to show you this outfit that I'm wearing today. Okay, so the pattern is uh, so different everyday chic dress. I'm going to put the details in the description box um, down below, but I love, I love this style so much. It doesn't have any zips or buttons, so it is super fast to make. Okay, so I'm going to sign off now, guys, because I have to go pick up my kids and we've got play dates and stuff like that. And thank you so much. If you've tuned in, um, remember to like and subscribe for new sewing related videos every week or so. I will be back very soon with my Breda browse through. I just received my Breda November issue and I've got some thoughts about that. Okay, so until I see you guys next time with my two chic dresses, bye. Now, how do I stop this? <laughs> Live stream. Guys, this is crazy. I don't remember how to stop this. I think I just pressed the X button. Okay, bye.